Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I am talking about Burning of Truth, season number one, episode number six, Devil in the in the Desert, episode directed by um James Jen. And here we have Well You still have Joanna and you still have Billy trying to pretty much take down this um this steel mill because they feel as though the steel mill is the reason why these girls are sick. And so they bring in an expert to give them the answers they want to hear so they can take down the bad guys. They can take down the bad guys and, sh and she can show her dad this was not for nothing. She was right. He was wrong. In your face. You screwed me over. I, I didn't know I had a sister. All, all her daddy feelings and all her daddy emotions, she's going to she, she take it out on this case. And she brings down an expert because she just want to throw it in the face to show that she was right. And then the expert says, and it wasn't a still mail. It's some, it was it's something else. And they, they, the girls didn't get sick because of that. It's psychological. And she said, See, I t what? What? Psychological? So, so it's not the steel mill? It wasn't the containers? No. See, I've been saying it for a while now. Why was it these? Why? I can think to myself, Why was it just these certain girls? A lot of girls played in the field, but only these certain girls. But now you find out exactly why these girls. Had the tick. You find out why something's wrong with them. And it's not what you think it was. Something else altogether. The interesting part about this, now, I'm gonna talk about another show for, for, for a second Legion. Legion's a great show. And on this show, they talked about a certain um, psychological disorder that happens. It, it also with girls as well, too. When, 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 like one cheerleader got this this tick because she experienced something, some kind of stress or something like that happened to her, and, and the stress and everything she was going through caused her to have a tick. And so, and, and this tick, and then the other girl she was connected to saw saw this tick, and all of a sudden they started getting the tick too. And the, and the same thing happened in that scenario here, happening here. The interesting about this the episode right here is. Usually on a show like this, show like this, they have the, the the small town lawyer taking on the big time lawyer, and the big time lawyer is on the side of wrong, and then they just take them down, and everybody wins, and, and and the whole town goes crazy, woo! But this time it feels more realistic. Yes, she came from the she came from the, the big time lawyer. She was the big time lawyer, but then she like she gave up everything to pretty much fight on this case because she believed what she was doing was right and the, and do all of this and, and, the, and even the town was against her. Her father was against her, and she wanted to prove everybody wrong. Turns out she was actually wrong. All this time, it wasn't the mill. Wow. I did not see that coming. I didn't think that I should go in that direction, but even though it was, it was shocking, I didn't see it coming. I enjoyed it. It wasn't it wasn't that the big triumph of the, triumph that you that you usually get in these kind of TV shows, but it was something and it, very interesting too. A different take that I never I never saw before ever. Wow. The acting was is, 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 is great on the show. I really do enjoy that. I, I like how it is a little bit more, a little bit more realistic. I mean, they, they do have that, that, that extra drama and stuff in there as well, but it, it, it has a, a more realistic feel to it than, than most TV shows that I, that I, that I watch about, about about lawyer dramas to an extent. Um, I'm enjoying her relationship she's having with um, Luna, even though Luna finds out this episode that, that she is her sister, and and just like her her father. Who she was trying to be fighting against and running away from, she also wanted to cut and run instead of knowing the truth and find out what's going on. Like, it's like as soon as she found out what she was doing, that she was on the wrong side, and that everything she said of doing, she was wrong. She said, Well, I tried, and she was to cut and run, and, and, and missing out on the opportunity to actually get to know her sister because, because it wasn't her fault she didn't know who she was, it was her father's. And instead of trying to correct the wrong, she wanted to also fall in that same pattern and mistake, which is also very interesting. The person she's fighting against and trying to beat, not beat, also she's also turning into at the same time. Like, wow. Wow. Overall, it's a great episode. I really did enjoy it a whole lot. I have no idea where the story is going to go now. I really don't know. Because everything leading up to this moment of them taking on the steel mill, and I'm just gone. So now what? Uh, beats, beats me. Well, where does she where does she go now? She, she pretty much turned on her father. She she pretty much she she quit she quit the firm that she was working at. Uh, 
she's back uh, she's back in her hometown where she didn't really stay that long she didn't have that and, 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 and she also is still like the outsider a little bit too and she probably took down the steel mill which was the heart of the whole town and so now she's she's still she's still done with all that and all the the pet the people tried to attack her and almost put almost practically kill her and and in these episodes too was like wow now where we go from here beats me I'm actually looking forward to find out so leave your comments down below let me know what you thought about this episode of burden of truth and if you haven't watched it check it out for yourself hopefully when you watch it you will enjoy have fun watching it too so give my channel a big old like hit the thumbs up sub boom and subscribe to my channel and share i really would appreciate it like i always say in my dreams and in real life i am the ninja rabbit uh peace out uh, peoples.